<laughs> he's a little bit early, so he's not starting to talk to Tim. But this is my this is my bro. <laughs> Paul McDonald from Post Say hi. Well now you. Well then he's gonna do a talk to you about the beautiful positivity center in Burnham um, at about two o'clock. So hopefully we're gonna have a few more people here. Um, but you see this is the thing, is we're doing this together. We're doing everything we can to send out the love and the compassion to you guys and stay safe in the crazy world, aren't we? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna sing! <laughs> we did promise you yeah, entertainment. Yeah, yeah. Wow, look at that. You look fantastic, everybody. Come on. I feel good. Come on. Does everyone in here today feel good? Yes! I'm from, uh, my name's Paul McDonald and I'm from the Positivity Centre in Burnham which I run with my lovely lady over there, Cecile. And, uh, There's the gorgeous family. There they it's are. It's a centre and it's all based around positivity and how you can, you can make more of that positivity inside yourself. But positivity is an inside job. So what I want to do when I'm coming here today is to try and help people to feel more positive but, but be more positive in themselves and the one way to do that which I like concentrating on is intuition. And with intuition the only way to get to know your intuition is by getting to know yourself by sitting with yourself and some people find it hard, how do I sit there with myself? How do I get in a space to meditate? First of all, you literally just have to sit there. So I invite anyone who's interested, if they want to sit there and, and learn to become more intuitive, feel more intuitive, and this can help with anything to do with such things as public speaking, to do with such things as Art, whatever it is you want to do in life, intuition is a major key um, aspect to it. Because your intuition allows you to bring through your gifts and what you are. Your intuition allows you to bring through the, the you, who you are, who you are here and meant to be. And everyone's here and supposed to be themselves as much as possible. You can't be anyone else as much as you can be you. And when you go to these, these, these seminars and these life coaches and they talk about they're the best at what they do because you are the best at what you can do. No one is better than you at being you and what you do. So I can confidently get up here today with complete truth and say I am the best at what I do. What you're going to get out of me today is the best of what I do. And what I'm good at is being intuitive. And my intuition is trying to lead me on to help other people be intuitive. And your intuition, your intuition is your, is your self, is your, everything that's, that you, that's good about you, everything that you're here to do, to work with, and offer, is your self, and what it is you've got in yourself, being that your intuition. So, I had a mind blank then. <laughs> Right. So now I've had a bit of a mind blank, so I never see anything as a mistake, so it's now given me a chance to sit there and feel. Because there's no scripts. So I've just got to sit here and feel. Because my intuition comes from a place of consciousness. Everyone is conscious, everyone is alive, everyone is aware of their being, everyone can feel that they're alive. For example, you've got um, Jesus Christ, you, 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 all of these avatars, these, these figures that are trying to help people in life, these religious figures, they're all being themselves as much as possible. Buddha, um, Moses, all these, these are, I can't think of all the names, Guru Nanak from the Sikh religion, the, the, the man who discovered Tai Chi, all of them sat there and they, they went inside themselves and they found what was good for them. And then they shared it with other people and then you take from them what resonates with you. Not everything, 
Is this the bits that resonate with you? Then your intuition tells you what resonates with you. Hence you're listening to your intuition. Then you gather everything that you feel intuitively right for you, put it all together, and that makes up your own particular gifts. So you take from what you feel that you need to take from. And if they don't resonate with it, it's because it's not meant for you. Does that make sense? So therefore, you're offering to the world yourself. And you are special. There is, there's no mistake with you. The fact you're alive, the fact you exist, is a massive thing. Millions of people all over the world are here for a reason. You're here for a reason. Everyone's here for a reason. There's no point in not being you. When people think, say, don't be egotistical, be completely egotistical as much as possible because your ego is here to be you and your ego as much as possible. That's how special you are. But knowing that's part of a higher grand scheme which uses and works for everyone. But you need to be you as much as possible and offer what you've got as much as possible. Because you exist. And it would almost be like um, sticking your fingers up at God if you're not you as much as possible. So it's, it's okay, you can follow various religions, follow various belief systems, but you don't need to because everything comes from the same consciousness. You come from the same universe, the same source, the same consciousness as Buddha, as Krishna, as Jesus, as, as all these Tai Chi masters, as Tony Robbins, as uh, Eckhart Tolle, these great philosophers and, and life coaches. They sit there and they tap into the same source which your part, therefore, is in you. Therefore, everyone can do it. Therefore, all you need to do is sit and listen to yourself. So one thing I'd like everyone to do, whoever's interested, is just to sit there and not try and wipe out any thoughts, not try not thinking, but to sit there and feel you as much as possible. Feel your aliveness as much as possible. Feel your traits as much as possible. Feel your imagination as much as possible. Feel your personality as much as possible. Let all the thoughts come and go. Don't try and get rid of anything. In fact, all the negative stuff, love it. Because we don't want to suppress it. We don't want to separate it. We want to love it. Therefore, you you don't separate it. You, you, you merge it all together and you, you use it all. Use... Even if you feel negative thoughts, don't try and dismiss them. Use all your negative thoughts and use them and feel them just as your being. Everything has, everything's made of everything. Everything's got a positive and a negative, but use it all and create with it all. If you can create with good, when you're, just as a thought, when you're annoyed, when you get angry, you feel really tense, really anxious, but you feel lots of energy and you, you almost feel like, when people get in a rage, they get in a rage because there's a whirlwind of energy in you. Well, what would happen if you could focus that whirlwind of energy? You can really use that energy. Really, really use it. And embrace it. Don't try to dismiss it. But use it. Feel that negativity in you. Feel that everything that makes you negative, everything that makes you upset, everything that makes you annoyed, Feel that alongside the positive stuff, because you can't just feel and be positive. Everyone knows that. You have to embrace both, but use it for a positive outcome. So feel as much as possible. And when you meditate, when people meditate, the more they meditate, the more all you're doing is when you meditate, you're becoming more aware of your feeling, of your being, of your consciousness. And the more you feel that, the more you feel everything. The more you're allowing your body to feel everything. And by doing that, you're tapping into all consciousness. And all consciousness has many different things going on. And you're going to feel all of that. Some days you wake up and think, why am I feeling rubbish? Because you're connected to everything in life, and sometimes you feel that. And the more you meditate, the more you become aware of consciousness and being, the more you're connected and feeling everything. But we need to feel it and we need to hold it and give it space and then we can use it. So feel everything in your entire being, especially the negative stuff. Feel it, let your body feel it as a whole. And whilst doing so, let your intuition, which gives you all your thoughts, your intuition which gives you all your visions, all your ideals, all your dreams, 
but not from the head, from the place in your heart. Picture these things, visualize them, and then, and then see them and feed that visual representation with all that energy in you, with all that rage, and use it. Because if we don't use it, it's just out there hanging around in the ether where some depressed person picks up on it, uses it to create more problems or do some insidious act. This is a problem when people don't engage and feel and use that negative energy. When you just try to create love alone and positivity alone, you're separating oneness into duality. And when you concentrate on just one side of the coin, you're also strengthening and invigorating the other side. You imagine the two together, you've got negative, you've got positive, yin and yang. That's life. They're together, they're in balance. And when you just try and focus on one and repress the other, you separate them. This is the nature of duality. So you can create as much love and light and positivity as possible. But by doing that, you're also creating the opposite. Maybe not with you, but somewhere in the collective consciousness of the world, everything's connected. So you, by focusing on the signature energy of one aspect of life, you're strengthening the other side. Therefore, you're seeing in the planet at the moment loads of people very positive, loads of people doing lots of good stuff, lots of meditation, lots of brilliant things. But at the same time, they're also invigorating the polar opposite, which is there's lots of stabbings going on, lots of insidiousness, lots of schizophrenia, because people are trying to separate them. Fill them both, fill them together, use them, neutralize them. You don't have complete excitement, and then you don't have a complete drop that comes with the excitement, you just have this nice joyousness, which is in the heart, there's a, there's a difference. And it's important that we do this because we can't get away from it. Even if you want to sit here now and you're not interested in what I'm on about or what anyone's on about, if you don't believe in it, it's still going to affect you anyway. Either way, you're hypnotizing people, you're being hypnotized, you're life coaching, everyone's coaching it will either be negative, positive or whatever it is. We're all, we're all using people, we're all manipulating people, we're all, we're all some sort of energy vampire where we're trying to get suck things from other people because we can't feel content in ourselves. And at the moment on this planet, there's a rising magnetic energy. Every now and again, there's, there's these fluctuations, there's these cycles. There's a man called, it's either Greg Braden or Greg Barden. He's uh, Greg Braden. And uh, this bloke, he dips his foot in both worlds. He dips his feet into the, uh, into complementary stuff, into holistic stuff. And he's also into his uh, metaphysical science and he's uh, it's mainstream and alternative. And he was looking at about these scientists, they had some uh, satellites out that they, that they take an account of what's going on with the, the electromagnetic energy of the planet. And they found out that there's a, there's a peak that happened in, in, a, in, I can't remember the date, but they worked it out and they said there was a peak of electromagnetic energy. And this peak of electromagnetic energy happened at the time of 9-11. Well, 9-11 happened, that was obviously, everyone knows that there, it's not even a conspiracy, you can say that there was something happened, whoever done it, done it for a negative reason. But, due to the amount of people all over the world who were in shock, and their heart opened in shock and in, in care, that actually raised the electromagnetic energy of the planet. So I'm going off the point a bit. Also, the same man, Greg Braden, have I got it right, Lauren? Yeah, you have. He's, um, he's found out when a load of other scientists, they took a great big tube of ice out of the ground, and this tube of ice is showing the same cycles every few thousand years. So every now and again, we get this, 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 this raise in solar energy. Solar magnetic energy is life force. It's that invigorating electrical life force in us, and the more that raises, the more solar flares, are hitting this planet, the more it invigorates and highlights everything, whether that be negative or positive. So it would be great if we could invigorate... <laughs> oh, sweet, it would it? be great if you could invigorate them both together rather than separate. So you're seeing as much as there's, there's a lot of war going on, everything's heightened. You're noticing a lot of good stuff going on. You're noticing a lot of community stuff going on. You're noticing a lot of, of, of war happening. You're noticing a lot of uh, political stuff going on. A lot of economic stuff changing. These massive rises and 
and falls. But also at the same time, there's 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 lots of big changes, lots of shifts, lots of uh, what's the word? Lots of new inventions, lots of new philosoph not new philosophies, but lots of brainstorming. This is because absolutely everything is heightened because of electromagnetic energy from the sun. So we're really in a time where we nearly we really do need to sit with ourselves and and allow our intuition from our heart come through rather than the disimbalances in our head. And the disimbalances in our head come through when we're being too stimulated, when we're on phones too much, when we're on laptops too much, because it's that quick fix stimulation that's stimulating, I don't quite know the chemicals, but it's these quick fix stimuli which is used for marketing reasons. It's purely for marketing for some rich dudes to make money who's in the, that side, of, you know, into that aspect of life. But it's caused a bit of a problem where it's causing everyone to be all over the place because we all just want that quick fix. Only just talking to my daughters about it today. It's uh, in India they call it pranic energy. In Christianity they call it the Holy Ghost, or they call it. Uh, there's another word. Uh, they call it breath. Ruach, ruach. Maybe I can't pronounce it right. But it's all just energy. Ruach. 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 Yeah. Ruach. It's basically your life force energy, but so, different countries call it different Hebrew. things. But you've all got it, so you all just need to connect with that. I'm basically covering a whole, a, a few different things here, but the, the, my whole inten intention is to try and get people to be more intuitive. Either be sound, either free movement, allow your body, when you sit there and just relax and you feel your body, your body gives you what you need. You may need to shout. But there's nowhere we can go out and shout. A few years ago, I was going through issues, I wanted to go out and scream. He said to me, I don't care, I did go out in the middle of a field and scream. Yeah. This was at night, and then I'd done it again. And then I turned around and had to laugh, because one of my neighbours was standing at the top of this hill. He said it was his nutcase. But then you can't, you don't feel like you can do it, because if you do do it, someone's going to think you're, 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 you're nuts, or some, some women out walking their dog's going to think you're a crazy person. So we need somewhere where we can go and do that. The Positivity Centre is where I invite people to come and do that, where you can release. Because first you need to release all your conditioning, you need to release all of your rubbish, you need to release all the blockages, that the stuff you keep in where I can't be myself, I've got to follow what everyone else does, but I feel this is what I really want to do, this is how I really want to dress, this is what I really want to do, I want to go out and dance, I want to be a ballet singer, but oh, my dad doesn't want me to do that. My dad, you know, I, I need to do this masculine job. Or a woman who, you know, everyone's under pressure of what society tells them they need to do, but we're creating problems and blockages in us, and us being connected to everyone else consciously, we're creating problems in the collective consciousness, which is creating even more bigger problems and making us more and more stuck. Creating problems energetically, emotionally, and everything affects everything else. So I invite anyone who wants to lose their stresses, who wants to relax more, who wants to let go, who wants to feel more inspired, who wants to be themselves, who wants to be more creative, who wants to be more of themselves in order to give other people the permission to be more of themselves. And when you're being yourself, as I said, you let yourself through, you let your, your, your intuitive gifts through, because you're here for a reason. You only think of like how many planets had to collide, smash, and be destroyed in order for you to be here now. How many people had to meet up, make love, have babies, die, in order for you to be here now. That's how important and relevant you are to this life now. If you take you out of the picture, life cannot exist. It just can't, and you're here for a reason. So you might as well be you and that reason as much as possible. And that's not by following anything else, but following yourself. And by following yourself, you'll work in accordance with a higher consciousness that, that works through us all. If everyone listens to themselves, they'll all be still listening to that higher consciousness, energy, source that works through all of us. Because we all know that there's an energy in us. There's some sort of consciousness. There's a feeling. Activitycentre.co.uk It's also on Facebook. We have meditation. We have mindfulness. We have ecstatic dance. We have, um, we have sound therapy. We have all sorts of stuff to get. We have art, art expression. We're soon going to be doing like sober raves where it's getting people, it starts off where people can just relax 
And then you slowly just let everyone close their eyes and then just start moving. And then you end up, you just dance. And in the end, you don't care. You're high on just enjoying yourself. And then the more you do it, the more you start to invigorate that pattern within yourself. And the more other people start to see you being happier without the need of drink, without the need of drugs, without the need of all these outside influences. And you just enjoying being yourself and expressing yourself. The more they start to say, hey, that's working for him. I want to do it. And energetically, you will influence them anyway. You can't not, because energetically, you're connected with them. So it will inspire and invigorate other people. I've seen it in my own life. I made changes in my own life about 15 years ago. And slowly, people who used to think, oh, I was nuts, or Paul, you're a weirdo, Paul, you're into all this airy, fairy stuff, this hippie stuff. Slowly, I've seen massive changes of people around me. And then changes they've seen around people around them. You influence people. You really do change everything. As soon as you were born, you changed everything. That's how amazing and how intricate and important you are to everything. So if you do really want to be you as much as possible and lose the entanglement of what's been created in yourself, lose miseries in yourself, lose anxiety, if you want to get rid of all this nasty stuff and be yourself, be confident, be more inspirational, be more artistic, be more expressionate, be more everything great about being you as much as possible, then I suggest maybe come down to the Positivity Centre or anywhere Anywhere, in fact, that, that, that describes that way of life and that way of being yourself. Go and do it. Go and learn and, or actually unlearn. Go and remember who you are at soul essence, which is you and your state of being. Freedom of you being you. But it starts off, you need to first sit and just breathe and feel your own breath, feel your own spirit, feel your own consciousness. Give space to yourself and let yourself unfold the way you were born and designed to be. With that, I'm going to say, take care. Thank you, Lauren, and this place is beautiful. It is. Thank you, Paul. Hang on. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you, Paul. Just stay right there. Okay. What um, therapies are available at the Positivity Centre? Um, the therapies we've got at the Positivity Centre, we've got a hypnagogic light. It's a bit like when you're younger and you've got these kaleidoscopic things. But what it is, is you're lying down on the bed and this light, it's like quick pulse impulsive flashes. It's frequencies converted into sound and light. So you've got your eyes closed, the light goes through, it's got its optic nerve and sends that signal to the brain. So it's almost, it's like hypnotic, but it's absolutely beautiful when you can put yourselves, there's many different frequencies, energetic frequencies, relaxation frequencies, frequencies to help you feel more invigorated. If it's a quick lunch thing that you need to just feel more invigorated, it works. We've got testimonials. I've had various people, some people have used it and said that they have old memories come up and then they faded away. And, and then at the end of the session they said they had a bad back and a bad back win. And the logical conclusion of is the memories that were brought up from the subconscious mind to the conscious mind release the energetic influences which they were feeling in their body. This is one of them, and it has many different effects. Some people feel a, a, a state of bliss. Some people feel a, a sense of high. Some people feel clarity. There's many different, there's 50 different programs and there's many more to be made. And alongside that we have the liquid sound bed, which is it's, a, uh, it's like a massage table with a water bed, a heated water bed on top and transducer speakers underneath which gives out the same frequency through a vibration through the bed. This is good for fibromyalgia, it's good for post-traumatic stress, good for anxiety, good for pain relief. A friend of mine who's um, <coughs> he's a bit of a busker in London, uh, lives out in the... Sh uh, does a lot of stuff in London basically, a lot of squatting, he's in that sort of lifestyle where he's to do with music and he lives out a lot and he suffers with uh, bad blood circulation due to being out in the cold. After 15 minutes of being on this bed he even noticed that the blood circulation in his feet was a lot better but this is great for everything. All life is frequency and electricity and vibration hence it's the pre-medicinal thing that we need, it's these, these elements of life that we need to use. Myself I do um, I do healing, it'd be different types of healing. Um, sometimes it uses sound to invigorate people, sometimes I relax people. Um, sometimes you use different analogies to put people into a lucid state where you can then help them 
with the information they want you to give them to help you mould the way they want to think to empower them. Uh, you've got Cecile, she does um, Indian head massage. We're also going to have a Shiradara treatment, which is an ancient Ayurvedic treatment where it's, it's basically a line on the bed and you've got this thin stream of warm oil concentrating coming down the forehead. Very relaxing, um, very beautiful feeling and experience. We've also got the, what's the other one, Cecile? The Far Infrared Dome. It's basically like a dome that goes over the body and it helps, it, it penetrates into everything, bone, blood, marrow, cells, everything. It's a bit like the solar energy of the sun and also the same energy you get when you're doing healing. And as I've said, healing is just electromagnetic energy. Nothing supernatural about it. Um, it's just very natural, very, very natural. A lot of stimulus that stops us feeling that and using it. Um, and this bed again works on depression, works on aches and pains, invigorates blood cells. It's great for absolutely everything. So we've got the liquid sound table, the hypnagogic light, Reiki, a lady who does feet healing which changes mind concepts. Um, Oxygen facial therapy and, and oxygen therapy as well, which helps. I think Lawrence had this. It helps just, it gives you more concentration of oxygen. Where a lot of us, well, stance, basically, where we're not being ourselves, where we don't walk properly, where we're all over the place, we literally, we walk, you know, we walk with a bit of a swagger. We're thinking all the time. We're not being present. We're not standing properly. We're not holding ourselves properly. We're not eating properly. It's all a symbiotic relationship. Then the blood flow isn't the same, our breathing isn't the same, we're not taking in as much breath, and the breath is the thing that brings through your life force. So therefore, when you're getting that oxygen therapy, it helps give you what you naturally should be doing anyway, invigorating and bringing in more breath, through proper stars, through proper... When you're relaxed, you're breathing, you breathe a whole lot more uh, deeper. When you're all erratic, when your mind's erratic, your breathes <laughs> shallow. You're more tense, your heart's more tense, the chemicals in your body flow a lot more insidiously. So, oxygen therapy is something we should be really doing ourselves, but it's there as an aid for people who have erratic lifestyles, corporate lifestyles, people who have to be bang on the ball. People who are, I mean, corporate lifestyles is one of the main things where you, you really have to follow what someone else is telling you. You've got to follow this pressure, you've got to follow this goal, you've got to follow this deal. It's, there's no, most of the time, there's no, there's no time to be yourself. But there is a space where you can come and do that. The light machine helps you do that. The healing helps you do that. The dancing exercises, the Tai Chi, the meditation, the yoga, everything. All of these things are there to help you relax. Even if you've got a busy lifestyle, as long as you're... As long as you're... Um, I can't think of the word. As long as you're... Putting a bit of time aside to... Um, that's another word that's gone out myself. To counteract it. That's enough, even if it's just 10 minutes a day. Would you um, organise away days for, for companies at all? Yes, yep. Yeah. I'm so up for anything. We've got a team of people, we can, we can do anything. It's basically just needing to know time and dates. Yeah. We can have things going on at the centre, we can go to places. I'd yeah. quite like to uh, you know, get some sort of bus which goes around to corporate places and takes this, this to them. Cause I think it's important because it's corporations that run the planet, to be quite honest, and it, that, so they need to be in a harmonious state. They need to feel more. Everyone needs to feel more. The more you feel, the more you feel everything, the more compassion you have, the more you feel and understand what's going on in the world, the more you're aware and concerned for what's happening. So it's, corporations are behind most of things in lifestyle, most aspects of life, so they're you know, that's a key one, a bit like education, I'd love to go more into schools. Because this, you know, these are the people that are going to be ruling the world in the future. And that's, it's, it's a key aspect that they need to have these, um, this should be in schools. I mean, schools are concentrating primarily on academic stuff. That's like 10 or 20% of what we're about. Mm. Where is the, where is the, where is the concentration on feeling, on, on, on expression, on being yourself? All these massive things, the, the main things. There's so much pressure in school because no, no one's allowed to be themselves. I see it all the time with my daughters. So this is one of the main things we need to 
Well, all of it's important, but corporate stuff, educational stuff, these are key parts of life that need addressing with this lifestyle right. and these practices. Good. Right. Okay. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Paul. Thank you so much, Paul. Thank you so much, Paul. I just... Thank you. <laughs> I, I just am in awe of uh, Paul McDonald. Um, I feel that you're just a very, very enlightened person. And I met you, I remember I met you just when I was on crutches coming out of the wheelchair. And I just knew, I knew that we were going to be working together and we were going to be good friends. And just, we were just connected in some way. But let, what I'd like to say about the Positivity Centre, because a lot of what we've heard here is about what the therapies that happen. My experience of the Positivity Centre it is, it's my retreat. <laughs> it, it's basically home. Um, I, I've never really felt hot at home uh, in most places in my life. And yet when I go to the Positivity Centre, even if it's just to sit in the beautiful garden and look at some of the deer sometimes that come there, or just sit by a tree and have a good cry, I feel that I can be myself, completely be myself. And that's one of the reasons that I invited Paul here today, not just to tell you about the incredible therapies that are happening, but because you can just go there, you can go to the beautiful coffee shop and have one of the best, sorry Lauren, she's not here today, but one of the best hot chocolates, <laughs> vegan, with uh, orga uh, organic oatmeal, uh, oat milk uh, in your life and meet the most incredible people and basically form a tribe, form a family like we're trying to do here in the front room. So I think that Paul deserves an amazing round of applause and so does Cecil over there because they've done it together and they're a beautiful family because whenever Martin and I go there we feel like we, we're in our family. We're always welcomed, we're always treated with respect. We even got a beautiful meal yesterday. We bought our own food. <laughs> but basically, I think Paul, for what he spoke about today and the way he excuse me, presented it to you, I can't speak like that. <laughs> and I hope that it got into your hearts and that you got it. So you know where to go. It's on Ashton Lane, Burnham, uh, three minutes away from the high street. And uh, we hope that everyone's going, we're all going to join together. So what Hope Glory Productions is doing, helping you find peace in the world starts with peace in the heart. With what Paul and Stella are doing, with me and Martin are doing, with what uh, Odelia is doing with the beautiful food and beautiful free cakes. The front room, we're all there for you, here in High Wycombe and in Burnham, Berkshire, to create a better world.